the six-point plan that Boris Johnson sets out in New York Times and is written up in a big way here uh, uh, in, in the United Kingdom, does that make us even more of a target if he's going to more heavily arm the resistance, push the diplomatic efforts uh, through and stand by not only the sanctions that Putin's angry about, but up the sanctions? Christopher? I think that the Russians have been really rattled by some of the things that we've been saying about they, the Russians, and he, Putin, uh, because there is no explanation for the picking, uh, picking us out, out of all other European countries. One has to say that historically, the relationship with France and Germany has always been a much warmer relationship with Moscow, and we have been the outliers for a very long time not only during the period of Russia, but during the whole period of the Soviet Union. We were often picked out yeah. for particular obloquy because we were the awkward squad. And we are proving to be the awkward squad again. And if I may say so, from an earlier moment, compared with France and with Germany and mm. other continental European countries, <laughs> We've told it like it is. Yeah. You've written, Nick, uh, going way, way back uh, about warning of, uh, of these tensions that were inevitable, what Russia was up Thinking to. Thinking the unthinkable. Think, yeah. And, 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 and Christopher's just said, you know, they're cosier with Germany, cosier with France and what have you. You've also said we're already in the Third World War. I haven't. Uh, General Sir Adrian Bradshaw. I did. beg your pardon. You Three, quoted Sir Adrian. Uh, he said it on the Today programme, in fact, and I was, I was amazed. He's a former director of special forces. He went on to become the deputy supreme allied commander of Europe until five years ago. So he's not someone who normally goes out front. But what he said is, this is war. And it is the third world war now in any uh, kind of way you want to express it. He went further. And I'm paraphrasing him here, but I've got my notes mm. saying that essentially we can't save Ukraine, but we've got to save NATO and we've got to save the 30 member alliance and we've got to save the security of the rest of Western Europe.